Hey guys, welcome back to Growing with Simon and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm gonna build my gutter grow system in my greenhouse. And we plan on growing lots of tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, cherry tomatoes, and all your herbs and lettuces and greens. Um, and we're going to try to incorporate this in our microgreens delivery. Um, I figured we already have a route of about 40 uh, customers per week to deliver. So why not add another package, um, like a premium package, to include tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, cherry tomatoes, all your lettuces, your herbs, and that kind of stuff. That way, instead of doing a $20 delivery, you'll be doing a $30 or a $40 delivery. So let's have a look at the system, and then we're going to build the last bucket for it. All right, so this is how the setup looks indoors. So right now, I just have the two grow lights, but we'll be adding the fifth bucket right here. So we have a cherry tomato, a cherry tomato, um, regular tomatoes, and another tomato here. And then right here is our float valve. So essentially when the water goes inside this pipe, this float valve is gonna float, and then it's gonna stop the flow of the water once it reaches the top here. And then this here is where we're going to be adding the bucket with the nutrients. So let's get started. All right, so let's look at what we will need. You will need a, a tap. Just a regular garden hose tap. Inside is a half inch thread. You're going to want to add a O-ring that you can find in your plumbing section. You're going to want to add a washer. This you will find this in your nut and bolt section. And you want the inside of your nut to be at least half inch so that your half inch to quarter inch um, reducer fits and it will all screw inside like this. And your bucket will be squeezed in between the washer and your nut, um, your washer. Okay. Five eighths drill bit. This is to drill the hole in your bucket so that you can attach this. And you'll need a two inch uh, hole saw to cut a hole in the middle of your bucket. Okay, so let's start with the half inch. Okay, so to make the hole very nice, you're gonna drill forward just so that this um, pilot drill bit here punctures the hole, and then we're gonna go in reverse, and it will make a nice clean hole. So right in the middle, I'm going forward, and then I'm switching it to reverse. And if you look at the hole, it is extremely clean when you do it in reverse. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Well, I'll show you. Two inch neck cut. Goes in the hole like this. And this is what goes inside the gutter system. So what's gonna happen is your, the water is going to go in here and it's gonna wicken all the way up to the top of the bucket and your plant's gonna get a nutrient that way. All right, now it's time to drill the hole in your tote. Um, this is what's going to hold the nutrient for uh, the gutter system. And this is the same totes that I get from the Home Depot. They're extremely cheap. I think this thing was 12 bucks. Okay, so during the manufacturing process, there's a little bit of a nipple here. So that's where I'm gonna drill my hole, okay? So I already did the hole, and this is what it looks like right here. Okay, so here what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab your reducer, half inch to a quarter reducer. You're gonna put your washer inside the hole. You're gonna get this washer here. And then you're gonna get your um, garden hose. And we're just gonna screw it on here. And make sure it's nice and tight. That way there's no leaks. And just like that, we're done. So I'm gonna bring this on the back side of the gutter grow system where it's gonna to connect to the flow valve and we'll just see how it goes. All right, now let's mix the nutrients. You're gonna want a small pocket scale like this. So I don't use the same one that I do with the microgreens because the microgreens, you don't have a fraction of a gram. This one here, I can go like 3.5. So you want a small pocket scale. You're also gonna want your nutrient, okay? So this is the master blend tomato formula. Now if you look very closely, 
you're gonna want master blend, you'll need some magnesium sulfate and some calcium nitrate. So when you order this, make sure that you order this with all three uh, bags separate. So for example, I ordered this from, um, from Gecko um, and they only sent me this one here. I did not get the full package. Um, luckily for me, it's the same two small little bags when you do your lettuce. So the lettuce formula would be just a different lettuce formula plus these two here. So I'll be using my lettuce stuff to make my tomatoes. Um, also, in the instructions, you must read the instructions because you mix, it's a two part mix. So part one, you have to dissolve it in the water and then you have to do the part two. So the part one is your magnesium sulfate and your formula and the part B, which I have marked up here separate, this is your calcium nitrate. Okay, so I did 50 grams, um, sorry, 50 liters of water. So I need 32 grams of the master blend and 32 of the calcium nitrate. Okay, so the calcium nitrate, I'm gonna set them on the side because that's the part B, I don't wanna touch it right now. So let's do um, the master blend of the tomatoes. Okay, so I gotta cut this open. It's the first time I use this one, so. There you go, it'll make it a little bit easier to open. And as I said, I want, for 50 liters, 32 grams. So it's not a whole lot, it's less than uh, two tablespoons. Perfect, so that's 32. So we'll set that aside and we can close this bag. And then we're gonna do the magnesium sulfate. So essentially the magnesium sulfate is half of what you put um, of the master blend formula. So for 50, it's 16. Oh, it did not scale, or it didn't, uh, it didn't zero down. All right, so I want 16. So that's 15.97, 16. There you go, a shot. Okay, so now we are going to go mix this in the nutrient tote. And after that, we're gonna come back and measure this one here because the other one has to be completely dissolved. Or else it will not work properly. All right, let's talk about raw water real quick. The water that I use is distilled water. And the reason why I do, because I want it to have zero parts per million of minerals. That way the stuff that I add, I know exactly what's in here. And it's according to the um, recipe from the master blend. Also, if you use, for example, municipal water, you may have some chlorine that may throw things off. All right, so let's get mixing. First, master blend. You're gonna wanna stir this until it is completely dissolved. So for your water, when you get it from your, um, your distilled water from your jug, I would suggest just leave it um, in your house for a little bit for it to become room temperature. That way it's about, let's say, 69, 70 Fahrenheit. So I, right now it is the winter, so that's what we uh, heat our house at. All right, so that uh, master tomato blend has been um, dissolved. We're gonna add the other uh, thing, I'm not, I'm not sure, I think it's a nitrate. All right, that looks good. So let's go back at the table and measure the other um, part two. All right, so I was wrong back there. The second one that I added was actually the sulfate magnesium. So magnesium with the tomato blend. Once that's all dissolved, this is part two is your uh, nitrate, calcium nitrate. Okay, so that one there is the same parts 
um, for the tomato formula. So we did 32 grams of the tomato formula, so we're gonna do 32 grams of the uh, calcium nitrate. All right, so that's done. I'll meet you back at the tote. All right, calcium nitrate. And you just, just keep stirring until it fully dissolves. And the only thing that I have left to do from here is do the um, two inch hole saw into the pipe so that we can add our fifth bucket and transplant uh, one of the seedlings that I have left into that bucket. And then we'll be ready to turn this system on. And you'll know it's been fully dissolved when you don't see any of those little uh, white little bubbles or white little stones. All right, let's go do that two inch hole. All right, so same thing as the toach. You're gonna to wanna to go in reverse, uh, forward first for the pilot uh, drill to go through, and then you're gonna go in reverse to make a nice clean hole. Um, the easiest way to do this pipe in a nice straight line is have the writing of your pipe straight up, and you drill your holes along the um, the writing. That way you know it's always in a straight line. But this one is as not was not like that. The trial and error, all the ones I'll be doing in the greenhouse, the writing's gonna be on top to make sure it's a nice straight line. But for now, we're just gonna eyeball it. So you wanna go forward, reverse. And just make sure you don't drill too hard to go puncture a hole at the bottom. That won't be good. All right, now that the hole is done, I'm gonna vacuum inside here. Uh, just to make sure this pipe is nice and clean. That way I don't have uh, little pieces of PVC in here. So I'm gonna run the vacuum off uh, camera because it's a little bit loud. And um, yeah, we'll go to the next step after. All right, so the second last thing to do is to put your plant in your cocoa. Just make a nice little hole in the middle here. So I did start my plants in cocoa choir and they actually it took very well. So, uh, so yeah, so now we're going to run the water through um, the pipe and uh, we'll see uh, how it goes. So if you notice the, the leaves, they're a little bit yellow. So that means uh, they should have been transferred in here a long time ago, um, but they're in now and they should, uh, they should do well. So now let's run the water. All right, so I'm turning the valve on. Water isn't leaking, which is a good thing. And as you can see, it's just gonna trickle in until it fills up. So I'm going to grab some nutrient water and dump it directly in here. That way this fills up quicker. And then once everything is ready to rock and roll, you're gonna to wanna to put a lid on here. Uh, the last thing you want is uh, the light to uh, hit the water and it creates algae. All right, so it is done filling. And as you can tell, it's like right on the edge here. So we're gonna see, hopefully it's completely closed or else this is gonna overflow uh, tomorrow morning. So I'll come back tomorrow morning to see how that turns out, but it should be fine. And we'll also come have a look to see how well it wickens up. This year, I just dumped it from the top, but as you can tell, this is very dry. So we'll come back tomorrow to see how well um, it wickens. Also, if you notice these plants here, the leaves are a little bit on the yellow side that should all uh, disappear once they get the nutrients. So that's it for this one, and we'll see you in the next one.